Welcome back to Let's Play AWE, the DLC chapter for Control. I'm Burning Dogface, and last time we uh, hunted Hartman in this cavernous space, and then helped that train car in the distance find peace. Excellent! To get started with today, here's that bit I cut out of an earlier episode, just for funsies. As I recall, he died rather horribly, sucked into a big wall of darkness. Oh, I guess it's a spoiler. My bad. Oh, that popped up the instant I stopped recording. <laughs> Go figure. Um... What's going on over here? Just a really bright panel, I guess. I don't know if that's ominous or not in this place. I really don't. Oh, the frame rate is taking a dive all of a sudden. Oh, there it goes. Better. Alright, what the fuck is this? Hey, that doesn't look right. Uh, I need a light. Interesting. I feel like it would be a lot heavier than that. Hello, what's this? Damn it. Oh, the glass is reinforced. I'm not getting in there. There is a staircase, though. In fact, I've probably... No, I haven't been in there yet. Oops. I totally misjudged that height. Sounds like there's more darkness on the other side of this wall when I put the camera here. Hey, a light! Perfect. Oh, there's a lore. Eagle Limited Supplement. AWE 44, May 25th, 2015, Bloomington, Illinois. The Eagle Limited. The Bureau has gathered concrete evidence that the train derailment was, in fact, the work of the paracriminal group known as Redacted which, according to the Bureau's intel, has shown a concerning interest in experimenting with the artificial manufacturing of ar uh, altered materials. Knowing the group largely operates in the American Midwest, uh, the Bureau worked alongside the FBI to ascertain their movements and rendezvous locations. This cooperation provided agents with information that led to an arrest in conjunction with the AWE case. Under suspicion of involvement, Redacted was brought in for questioning. That's just one word. Or a really, really short name. Like Joe Blow or something. Uh, an interrogation performed by Agent Redacted resulted in the, sus in the suspect being kept in a holding cell for two days without food in breach of the Paracriminal Rights Act. There can't be a paracriminal rights act because we can't pass laws. We're not the government. We just work for the government. That's silly. I mean, I get that you can't make this stuff public knowledge so that the government can pass laws on it, but don't just make things up yourself and then declare that they, they count as laws. Uh, afterwards... The suspect confessed to his involvement in the redacted group and provided information on other members in exchange for his freedom. Ominous. I was half expecting something horrible to be behind me when I turned around. Shout out to Torek00, left a comment I very much enjoyed. I'm just waiting for an altered item identified as simply cheese. Just the iconic cheese wedge you see in cartoons. Yellow like cheddar, with holes like Swiss, a horrible smell like Limburger, with one of those iconic red wax rinds. With all those traits combined, it doesn't match any type of cheese made by mankind, and you can't cut it or do anything to take it out of that iconic wedge shape. <laughs> oh, and, uh... Oh, shit, I closed the thing. There it is. Yes. Uh, while I'm... Oh, got the thing open. Shout out to, uh... 
one, two, three, four, Andrew Jack Smith, who made a comment on the boss fight for the Foundation that really should have occurred to me earlier. Uh, there was a moment where the, uh, the board apologized for the, uh, astral copies and astral, uh, mimics, uh, make, meh, making trouble for me in the Foundation, because they claimed that once they left the astral plane, they could no longer control them. Wait, hold on a second. Oh, no, that doesn't go anywhere. It's just got a gap there for no real reason. Um... Yeah, so they claimed they could not do anything about it once they were out of the astral plane. Except during the boss fight with, uh... You know, Marshall... The former sent a bunch of, uh, astral copies and mimics to help me. So, it took control of the, you know, the minions when they transferred over to Earth. And he wasn't even on Earth at that point! Well, he wasn't even in the oldest house, I should say. The oldest house may or may not be on Earth. Depending on how you, you know, qualify dimensional barriers. Frame rate keeps dipping today. Strange. Well, you know, computers have good days and bad days, just like humans. What's going on in here? I think I found this spot before. Hey, let's not go in there after all. Yeah, wasn't I gonna melt some darkness or something? Yeah, I will say this, it's probably worth it to get multi-launch, even if you don't want to use it, given that it makes your uh, energy recharge while you're holding stuff. I can just remember... Oh, it was up there. I feel like there should have been noise in during that, but whatever. And it sounded like there was more over there. Give me a boost, friend. Thank you. Can I get up there? First, I should just... Yeah, I should be able to do that. Yeah, that is better without, uh, I mean, with sound. Hello, what's that up there? Why did the frame rate just drop to 48 frames a second? I need to stop fixating on that. It's probably doing it just to annoy me. Oh, shit! What just happened? Oh, I see. I didn't see, realize that was there. It kind of itches at me that, uh, A, Jesse has not mentioned the, for the former to anyone. Or maybe if I went back to the Foundation and talked to Emily. Uh... And B... That the former hasn't done anything. Why would he be lying low? Oh, it's just a 
light up there. Why the hell does it look like that? Oh, I guess all the shit floating in front of it. No, there's not enough of it to make that happen. You just walk up against this wall and see what it looks like. Oh no, it's just what it's doing when I point it through the wa the, the, the mesh here. Which is weird, because that's not what the mesh looks like. Uh, it looks like that, incidentally, because there's a grill over the light itself. Let me guess. There's a uh, darkness patch near here. Oh! Well, I'm really glad that one's there. What am I even doing? Wood. Odd. No effect. Okay. All right then. No Easter egg over here. Oh fuck. Oh, it's no good. What is planning disaster? All right, we need to get out of here. Um. Well, I guess that's fair. Where the fuck am I going? Oh, yes, that's right, active investigations. Uh, okay. This time I'm going to try to go into the Bright Falls one, because I do not think it will open, since there is not a, you know... Uh... Uh, 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 what is the word? Oh, there's not a mission objective there. It was just from Aro and the train. What? Oh. Oh! Brian Hennerman, 21 years old, resident of Southern Texas. I'm sorry, ma'am, but I really don't understand why I'm here. Do oh, it's you. you. What you did, Mr. Hanneman. I do? Tell me about Delivery Disaster. The movie? I don't... I mean, it wasn't very good. That's not what your review said, but we'll come back to that. Tell me where you got the movie from. Movie night. With a, you know, a K. Not an N. Not, not night, like nighttime, but... Who contacted you? Who told you to review that film? No one. I just did it because it looked obscure. I didn't even like the movie. I shouldn't have given such a high score, but reviewing obscure films makes me look smart. And I thought if I looked smart, I would get listeners. My podcast would take off and I could live out of my parents' basement and maybe even go to college and get a film degree like I've always wanted to. I swear. I swear, I swear, I swear. <sighs> okay, the kid doesn't know shit. I'm ending the session. Huh. Interesting. There was a moment of corruption there, which unfortunately ate my shout-out. Or I acknowledged that uh, I'd actually been pointed in the direction of uh, that elusive piece of lore I missed the first time by 1234 Andrew Jack Smith. So thanks for that. Okay, yes, it was this one, sorry. Uh, thanks for that. <laughs> I thought it was in here, I wasn't sure. really aren't that frightening once you get to know them. If you figure out what they like or don't like, you know, what sets them off, then there's nothing to worry about. I guess at the end of the day, we're still just wild animals scared of our own shadows. We're supposed to be on the same team, but sometimes it feels like it's every department for themselves, like it's a race and we're all trying to be number one. If it is a race, though, I'd say Darling is a mile ahead of everyone. He was Trench's golden boy for years. I mean, he ascended to a higher plane of existence, so I would imagine, yes, ahead of everyone else. Not that I spread rumors, Can I? Just, no, can I? You know, people talk. Not me, though. I keep my nose to the grind. 
Too much work to do to focus on those kinds of things. I need to stay focused so I can get my work done and get home to feed Alfred. He's of course, just talk I'm always making home for meal time, so I have my neighbor check in on Alfred at 7 o'clock if I'm not back yet. Huh. I wasn't expecting absolutely nothing, I'm going to admit that. There's not even a button or anything. Also, I feel like it's probably suicidally stupid to leave the lights off anywhere in this particular section. I'm just saying. Welcome back. Like I was saying before. Of course, can't always make it home for I you. heard this one before. So I have my neighbor check in on Alfred at 7 o'clock if I'm not back yet. She's very nice. Her name is Maria. She's older. She came to New York in the oh, 50s. Oh, for so God's sake. Bye. Shout out to Elthwar for suggesting hey. that the rejected episode of Threshold Kids was either f was found in the astral plane because it was either written by the board itself oh, or they edited it to be more person? accurate. I don't think I ever asked. <laughs> you seem like one though. You'd okay, reached the end of the speech, and I just stood here to do that so that it registers that I got to the end of the speech in case it didn't do that the first time for some reason. Uh, shout out to Yornick who observed that, you know, Langston says he named Alfred after his favorite poet, so it seems likely that his cats were named after Alfred Tennyson and Sylvia Plath. Here's hoping Sylvia didn't kill herself like her namesake did. Hmm. All right, I guess we're heading off to Framaro, whatever that means. I had a teacher when I was in school whose first name was Moro. Good guy. Very much lived up to all of the, uh, the friendly stereotypes about Italians. <laughs> Wanted to help everybody. I feel like that's not the vibe I'm going to get from this place. Oh, the elevator's shaking in this one. I don't like that. I don't know what it is that makes the about the elevators that makes uh, Jesse look kind of weird. Like just there, the shadows on her face made me think just for a split second that she'd gotten two-faced when I wasn't looking. I never did figure out what's up with the steam. Okay. Off you go, then. Oh, that wasn't an attack. That was, uh, worse. Oh, God! Okay, that wasn't bad. God damn it, if I could grab anything that could actually hit the guy, that would be great. That was amazing. I just kept grabbing things that were like around the corner or on the other side of a fucking wall. I'm not gonna say that one was my fault. Hmm. Well, at least now I get to try out the uh, concentrated shotgun effect. That'll be nice. Actually, while I'm standing here, before I lose any more... Ah, good. Okay, upgrade Surge. Unlock the second mod slot and increase base weapon damage. Hells yeah. Oops. Ah, yes. No, Shatter is about to come in very handy. Uh, charge Blast Boost. Oh, it's just Charge. Sure, sure, sure. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, rate of fire doesn't really matter on a grenade launcher, does it? Um, shit, I don't know. Uh, sure. Reload speed. Oh, fuck, I'm full of these. Well, that one I'm leaving on, obviously. Uh, right. That seems too specific to really come in handy for me. Evade cost. Yeah, okay. Uh, incoming damage after seizing enemy minus 10%. Interesting. I've never even seen one like that. Evade gets cheaper at critical health. Reload speeds up. Uh, oh, I see. That's not even the one I had equipped. Derp. For a second I got excited. I thought I doubled my energy plus one. Slam damage after launch hits. Melee damage after melee kills. That uh, could be more useful. Arg. Oh, that's right. I did find a couple of things. That's right. Yeah, sorry, about, by the way, if you're watching these videos live. Sorry that the last few days have all just been one video. Need to make some adjustments to my schedule. Be helped. Although I suppose on the plus side, it did allow me to uh, get back to even odd, <laughs> evens and odds. Uh, yes, that's right. Wait, did I not read that one before? I don't actually. I, I caught one right before it. I closed it. Like, wait, I don't remember reading that. Oh, that's right. It's train car, not a uh, eagle. I was like, what the hell? I didn't see anything in there. Um, yeah, okay. Eagle Limited Train Car. Uh, yeah, same wonders earlier. The al item's altered effect can be avoided by simply not entering it. Proper signage and barriers should provide sufficient containment. The item is currently held in the investigations, uh, the investigation sector's AWE West Hangar for ongoing investigations. The item's exterior is that of a standard CZ-10 Vista Dome train car, the largest known altered item on record except for that plane I already saw. Its interior seems to be... Oh, oh okay, I guess they could have found it after 2015, that would be fair. Uh, its interior seems to be an adjacent reality related to a trauma or memory belonging to a redacted, and not the physical item's own history. Belonging to a passenger? Causation for this link is still to be determined, but possibilities include the outside in interference, possibly responsible for the item's altered state, or trauma imprinting via uh, shared memory states. The item was discovered and the Bureau responded to a suspected crime scene in Bloomington, Illinois. The item was identified as an altered item and transported to the Bureau for examination and testing. See AWE 44 for further details. And, of course, the, uh... Wait. Altered item number oh, the duck, yeah. Okay, analysis. sure, sure. Well, it disappeared, but I don't actually know which one it was, so that's... Oh, it's the very first one! Ha! That's why I wasn't looking. Okay. That's more fucking like it! How much health does this asshole have? There we go. Problem solved! Well, there's a light for me to solve that problem in a moment. At last! But I can't... I guess I can try to do it through the door. Physics! That's not how it works. Um... Excuse me. Oh, hey. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. And solve that problem. On the next episode of Let's Play AWE.
the DLC chapter for control. <sighs> I'll see you then, Burning Dog fans. Stay in the light.